What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another inning program breakdown. This one's the second inning program here of MLB The Show 20. We got three new bosses. It's Joe Carter, Bob Feller, and Hanley Ramirez as you can see on the screen. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoy it. We break down every single card that's released in MLB 20. We cover updates. We have a franchise series. Road of the Show coming soon. We debut players. If you like MLB The Show, this is a place to be. So hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. Let's get into what the second inning program is. It's going to look a lot like the first inning program. We got 21 days here as it shows right there. I will crop it so it will be blatantly obvious. Uh, but here we go. So at five stars, you get a pack. At 20 stars, you get a Let's Dance thing. Gear up pack at 40. And this weird candy gummy bear thing. Sugar Rush, I'm told. Universal profile plate. Interesting. Choose one spike slam at 80 stars and then a set nine headliners pack with an opportunity to find Rob Nen. So that's pretty exciting. Then you got a cupcake thing at 120. 140, you get another pack. 150, you get the henchmen, we'll call them. Wade Box is one of them, an 84 overall. Really good contact. Just absolutely abysmal power. Uh, in his rookie card, 24 years old, first baseman with no pop. Not really for me, but if you like cards that slap him around, maybe this is for you. Who knows? We also got Steve Bedrosian here, an interesting relief pitcher. Might be the most viable one. And then Jonathan Scope, who is going to rake. I've played with the silver a little bit in events, and it's been really good. So Scope is here. Bedrosian's probably pick number one. Scope's probably two, Wade Boggs is probably three, but I guess it depends on what you like and what you need. You got Stubbs at 160, a pack at 180, a ball is a habit at 200, but guarantees you a gold or better player. It's out of here, home run call. Uh, Stubbs, and you get a star bat skin, looks kind of like the Russian star, but we're not going to get into that. Two show packs at 280, then you got choose one of three bosses here at 300. This is what I'm sure you guys are all here for. And we'll take a look. The first card here is Prime Joe Carter, which I called in my prediction video. Shout out to me. I am hyped. I am the best predictor on MLB The Show. You can tell that to anybody who does prediction videos because I have guessed more than them. <laughs> Joe Carter here is 74, 105 contact, 89 and 96 power is pretty good. This guy could be a legitimate first baseman. Uh, you could, as a secondary at first base, He'd be okay there. 70 speed's also pretty good. The contact versus right is higher than people kind of thought. I'm a fan, but the arm is a little bit worse. So I think this card could be pretty good offensively. I don't think he's going to be that viable in the field, though, unless maybe you hide him in left or at first base, just because the arm is not great. Bob Feller's the next card. 118 stamina. That is monstrous. 90 hits per 9, 108 Ks per 9, 48 walks per 9 is terrible. Uh, the pitching clutch is pretty good though. 77 control. So the control is not bad, but the walks per nine are bad. So I don't know how that's going to play really well. Um, 95 and 96 velocity and break respectively. These are the hitting stats for those who are curious. Now we want to look at quirks. He does not have the outlier quirk. Yeah, does he? No, he doesn't. He does not have the outlier quirk, which means he does not go above, what is it, like 100 is the cap or something? But if you have the outlier quirk, it could get you to 102, 103, something like that. So he doesn't have that at only 95 velocity. Something that people maybe thought he would have, but still in Hall of Fame, 98 to 100 is going to be really fast, and then 96 break on the rest of his pitches is really good. Then Hanley Ramirez is here. Shortstop, third base. I wonder if he can play first. I know that's crazy because he doesn't have a secondary position at first, but he could in 17, so I just wonder if maybe sticking him there wouldn't be the worst decision ever. But this card is going to match. 106-108 uh, contact, 79-100 power with 79 vision. 66 fielding hurts, but 76 arm is okay, I guess, if you stuck him at third. The reaction's not great. The speed is okay. Honestly, to me, the move is probably either Hanley or Feller. Probably. I forgot to add this in the actual video, so I'm recording this 
right now. These are the prestige version of the bosses because I feel like that's semi-important. Obviously to get the prestige version you just go through, you accumulate all the stats that are listed. So for Hanley it's like hits, base hits, extra base hits, whatever, RBIs, runs. Once you do all that you get prestige Hanley Ramirez. So the overall jumps a little bit which is nice and you get stubs and packs along the way but this is what the 94 looks like i believe what happens is they just boost the hitting stats plus three but i'm not it's just a juice version it's a better version of the card so the fielding goes up to 69 for sure which is nice I believe the speed gets boosted the arm is better everything on this card is just better by a little bit I believe is what happens here Bob Feller is going to be the same way he's going to be dirty he's got 99 velocity and 99 break on his prestige car the stamina goes up uh, let's see does he have the quirk on this card he does not have outlier interesting 99 velocity and 99 break though for bob feller is going to be elite especially on hall of fame uh with that slider the curveball the change up the fastball is going to be touching 100. it's going to be really good i think and then the last card here we'll look at is joe carter same kind of thing you got to accumulate stats you get to a 95 and that card looks pretty good that card looks pretty good so there you go so going beyond that here, 350, we got five packs. 400, we got a cartoon stumble run. Interesting. 450, we got 2,500 stubs. At 500 stars, we get a set two prospects pack. That is the one with Kopech, Lewis, and Lazardo. Christian Pache is also here. And then Julio Rodriguez, Matt Manning, and Nick Madrigal. 2,500 stubs at five. 50 and then at 600 stars you get to choose one classic stadium uh, You guys know all the classic stadiums, so I'm not gonna go over so how do you get stars here? Well, you got your daily missions obviously if we have a new second inning showdown and then we got some missions here, so we got win 10 online games and ranked Battle Royale whatever win 10 games and ranked and then tally extra base hits with faces of the franchise players so that shouldn't be that hard to do we got a new conquest map we'll go look at looks like it's um yeah i have no idea what that looks like it looks interesting i guess you got one two three four five six seven teams on there so that's fun let's see what you got to do acquire 22 million fans you got to capture the padres on turn one Steal 2 million fans. It looks like just a strong, just a normal conquest map, to be honest. We'll go over to collections. We got the second inning collection here. You can also collect face of the franchise. You get 20. Uh, if you collect 5, you get 20 stars. So I've got 2, but collecting 5 wouldn't be that difficult, I feel like, especially over the course of the year. Uh, also, postseason Al K line. I guess we'll go take a look at that potentially. So, if we go over here to player programs, we can go down and we see a second inning Al K line. He's an 86 overall. We'll go over to him and show off the stats. Uh, really good in the field. He's a double diamond. Now, K line here, uh, this card would be usable in the outfield. I think in right would be okay. Left field would probably be the best place for him. The fielding's not bad, the arm's pretty good, but it's not like elite. Uh, and the contacts versus lefty's pretty good, so he's a contact hitter, but the power is not brutal, the vision's pretty good. He's an interesting card, interesting card. And to get him here, you can either tally hits with outfielders, which wouldn't be that terrible online, you can defeat the Tigers on All-Star, tally extra base hits with Tigers, which would be kind of difficult. Also, you got these moments here. And it seems like those moments are not going to be that overwhelmingly difficult. That one's on Rookie. I guess we'll just go over to the Moments screen. Since we're here, go over to Second Inning Moments, K-Line Program. Yeah, so all of these are on Rookie or Veteran. So if you want stubs, these are probably a really easy way to get stubs. 
uh, and all that. Like, this is just get one hit on Rookie. It wouldn't be that difficult. So, K-Line's going to be a really easy card to get, and it's like 23 stars, so you might as well. The last thing here is the new pack. It is Headliner Set 9. We get a 92 Rob Nett. Uh, so we did get a reliever card. It just wasn't in the actual program itself. It's a headliner. Uh, this card looks nasty. It was nasty last year. It's going to be nasty this year. 110, 113 hits and Ks for 9. 97 velocity and 98 break. Disgusting. Disgusting. He's got that nasty splitter. Slider's like at 92, 93. Something like that. Doesn't have the outlier quirk either, which is interesting. But he does... He looks, uh, he looks okay. You know? It's not bad. It's not a bad reliever. If you need a reliever, that's a pretty good reliever to have. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you're watching this on Friday or Saturday, there's a good chance I'm streaming. So just click on over to my channel and uh, enjoy. And if not, I will catch you guys in the next video.